not satisfied with car spotting in my own neck of the woods, I get on a plane and I go to a car show I'd never been to before. There were plenty of cool cars and this is the story of just one. It's Daniel Legretti here, turning back the clock to the Showa Retro Car Expo held in Osaka late last year, and I've brought you the Lancer GSR, the slammed Angel T01, the 1973 Suzuki Fronte, and there is still so much more to come. Bam, bam, bam. Bam. And there is today's feature car, a 1971 Nissan Cedric GX. The series is 230. It's a hard top. And my camera, like so many of my junior high school students, completely incapable of focusing. Well, me too, but let's not get sidetracked. We're here to talk about this Cedric, and now this was a car that I had known online via Instagram for some time, and I was quite taken with it. It's a striking car, the vinyl roof, the color, and if you look at the guy's Instagram, he changes the wheels, or he has done so, over the over the years and it looks fantastic with every incarnation of it and uh, it was a thrill like this is a car that lives a thousand kilometers away but I approached the owner and I said oh, excuse me uh, I'm Daniel from Wasabi Cars and he he knew he knew I existed so that was a bit of a thrill to be honest and how is that rake it looks incredible and you can just see the interior just teasing that we'll get to that in just a sec Let's dive in under the bonnet, and he's made it look a little bit pretty in there. We've got braided line. Now, I think that's highly unusual, or is it common? But, you know, I am on record as having a poor concentration. And I'm thinking that's an L20 series engine. We've got triple Solex carburetors, pretty standard stuff. But yeah, neat and tidy, serviceable, functional, nice engine bay. Now, when I was speaking to Mr. Yamaguchi about his car, there was a, a confusing aspect of it that I'll try to convey here, and that is that this is actually two cars. I know it doesn't look like it, but 23 years ago, there was one car. It was pretty ratty on the outside, but it had some good parts in it, like the interior and whatnot. These made their way into this car, and this car was bought 13 years ago, and he was saying that these were near identical cars. Now, I believe even the color, uh, the, the body, like pretty much the same cars. In any case, good parts were taken from one and put into this one, and that's where the interior came from, and wait till you see that. Now, I just got to interrupt the life and times of this here Nissan Cedric to comment on the cars flanked by it. There's a whole bunch of other 230 series Nissan Cedrics and Nissan Glorias in a variety of body styles, two doors, four doors, mainly two doors, and they are looking fantastic. Seriously, each of them deserve their own Wasabi Cars video, but that's not to be. Uh, maybe I'll get to see them at next year's event. Hey, you didn't think I was going to leave you hanging, especially when the interior is as legit as it is. And would you just feast your eyes upon the interior? Do you not want to just dive in that car? It's looking plush. It's looking clean. Uh, the little personal touch is a fantastic pistol grip gear stick. Uh, the three-spoke steering wheel matches it beautifully. And uh, I do see he's a smoker, which concerns me, even though it's not my car. I just, uh, I just hope he keeps it uh, nice and neat, you know, that's all. And I do see there's an 8-track cartridge hanging out of the, the dash there. So uh, the family had one back in the day, of, of course, and it was ABBA, Charlie Pride, Neil Diamond, that sort of thing. So uh, I don't know what that is, of course, but it uh, takes me back. Hey everyone, I'd love to hear your thoughts in this car. Do you love it as is? Would you change something? I would love to hear, especially from people who have never commented before, but also from anyone who has. It would be great. And for those who are willing and able, there is Patreon if you would like to support Wasabi Cars in the financial sense. It really does help a great deal in the hunt for Wasabi and going to car shows like this. And also I'd urge everyone to double double check they've clicked the bell to ensure they get notifications for the uploads. People are subscribed and they're like, I didn't see you uploaded a video, which I do every single Saturday. So there's, there's no question there, but click the bell for notifications. It's just, it's, it's the new black. 
And finally, I guess I just want to say I hang out over at Instagram sort of every day mostly. So uh, say hello to me there, wasabicars underscore official. That'd be awesome. Everyone, thank you so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy it, and I'll be back next Saturday with another one. So take it easy and goodbye.